recognize the fact that we as human beings are deserting our responsibility to, to take care of the earth in our pursuit to develop ourselves and realize that something had to be done to address this fact. Its aims were simple, but the road to achieving them was not. In the end, the members of the summit had agreed on three landmark outcome documents. One, the Rio Declaration on Environment and Development. Two, Agenda 21. And three, forest principles. We left the summit with a new hope for the well-being of our planet. Shamefully, to this day, there has been marginal improvement in implementation of these decrees made 20 years ago. However, with those passing of those 20 years, new issues have arisen and others have become more acute. Because of this, the delegate of the Swiss Confederation believes that another resolution is needed to address some of these issues. The issue at hand, which is the creation of a green economy in the context of sustainable development and poverty eradication, is quite a stretch to achieve in our current global situation. This delegate believes that the main issue with this is that there is no suitable framework for countries to work on, therefore stagnating process, progress. Through this resolution, the delegation of the Swiss Confederation aims to create such framework pertaining to one aspect of the issue, uh, which is improving the impact of nations on the environment as is the main aim of the green economy. In this resolution, the delegate has isolated two main beneficiaries to negative environment, environmental impact, which are agriculture and energy production. This delegate would also like to emphasize that these are not the only factors, but the ones that this delegate has chosen to address in this resolution. In terms of agriculture, this resolution aims to facilitate the transfer to green agriculture, which has the benefit of reduced water wastage, the usage of organic fertilizers rather than chemical fertilizers, and the lessened use of poisonous pesticides as addressed in clauses 10, 11, and 14. As for energy production, this resolution supports the use of green energy sources as a viable alternative to the current widespread use of non-renewable energy sources such as coal and oil in clauses 3 and 13. Despite the focus of this resolution being mainly on these two areas, the delegate has still addressed issues such as green city initiatives and green transport and encourages any other delegates to contribute to any of these aspects in the form of amendments which will be duly appreciated. To finish off, this delegate would like to emphasize the importance of taking action now rather than relegating it to a later date by reciting a, a quote from the Roman poet Horace, which reads, Carpe diem, quam minimum credula postero, meaning, seize the day, putting as little trust as possible in the future. Thank you. Is the delegate open to any points of information? Any and all? The delegate has opened himself to any and all points of information. However, the chair will only entertain three of such points due to time constraints. Are there any such points on the floor? Please raise your placards now. Delegates of China, USA, and Canada, you have been recognized in that order. Right. Thank you, Honorable Chair. Now, Delegate of China, I would like to question the main submitter of this main submitter of this uh, resolution by asking one question regarding the feasibility of this resolution on countries um, such as Libya. Now, we know that Libya has been recently liberated from the classes of a tyrant, and its economy is extremely fragile. Although you, there are points mentioning um, which are referring to uh, MEDCs and LEDCs, how far does it th how far does the main submitter think this is effective in a situation like Libya, where there are private companies fighting to dry up the oil reserves in such a fragile economic situation? Thank you. I it believes that this resolution aims to help the countries which already have a somewhat stable um, pol um, political um, environment. But for example, countries such as Libya and other um, nations in that Arab area which have experienced um, revolutions in the past um, year or so, um, this target would like to agree with the target of China in saying that parts of this resolution are not feasible. However, this delegate would also like to emphasize that these countries with um, an unstable political environment 
are just a small minority out of all the other countries in the world. Therefore, the Serbia believes that it should not impede on the passing of this resolution. Uh, excuse me, Doug. In reference to um, Clause 17, uh, which suggests uh, um, replacing the soon to expire Kyoto Protocol with another protocol. Um, now, would the Daddy please explain if that protocol is going to be mandatory? And if it is going to be mandatory, what actions would be taken against countries who refuse to sign it? Well, first of all, the Senate would like to state that um, there has there's no, there's not been specific mention on the implementation of this um, protocol. However, he would also like to state in um, response to the delegate of the USA's question that um, as with the Kyoto Protocol, the implementation of the um, new um, set of decrees, you can say that, if you can say it that way, would be purely voluntary as forcing it upon nations would be a breach on their sovereignty and that would not be the ultimate point of the UN where the ultimate point of the UN is to resolve things in a peaceful and democratic manner. Request to follow up. Granted. Um, since the target said that it would not be mandatory, isn't the target aware of the fact that countries such as the uh, delegates country of USA and Canada have refused to sign Kyoto and um, that led to the fact that um, the event, that the goal set for 2012 cannot be reached. Um, the point being made here is in, wouldn't Doug agree that um, subcall 17 should be amended to include the fact that it should be mandatory but should be um, open to amendments to suit the needs of member states who wish to sign it? Uh, while it would be ideal to force it upon other nations and make it mandatory for them, this delegate still feels that that is not um, in order as um, we cannot simply force things on nations. And if nations believe that they simply cannot follow these um, set of guidelines, then they will have it upon them to not follow the guidelines and carry the brunt of the international community against them. And Clause 6, in what way will the involvement of all these groups be executed and put to action? Can the, delegate, can the chair please ask the delegate to rephrase, um, to, to repeat the question? Could the delegate of Canada please rephrase your question? And Clause 6, in what way will the involvement of all these groups be executed? Um, the delegate believes that um, the point of this clause, clause 6, is to make sure that all these other um, groups of people, for example, businesses and NGOs, um, are on the same level and understand what they can do for um, the better of the world in creating a green economy. So it's more of um, calling them to understand and recognize this, um, this issue that we have and this resolution as part of the solution. Does the delegate wish to yield the floor to the chair or to another delegate? This delegate would like to yield the floor to the delegate of Peru, if that is in order. Does the delegate of Peru accept the floor? Uh, the delegate of Peru was absent for the, be the beginning of the uh, the beginning of this um, this panel discussion. So the delegate would like to just have some more time to uh, uh, to uh, figure out exactly where we are in this discussion. That is in order. Uh, would the delegate of uh, Switzerland wish to yield the floor to another delegate or to the chair? Since the delegate of Peru is not available, the delegate of Switzerland would like to yield the floor to the delegate of the 
United Nations Environmental Programme. Does the delegate of UNEP accept the floor? Uh, the delegate of UNEP accepts the floor. Okay. Thank you, Honorable Chairs, fellow delegates, Swiss Confederation. Life or death, blessings or curses. Therefore, choose life, that both thou and thy seed may live. Ladies and gentlemen, we, human species, are confronting a planetary emergency, a threat to the survival of our civilization that is gathering ominous and destructive potential. But there is hope. We have the ability to solve this crisis and avoid the worst, though not all of its consequences. But if we act boldly, decisively, and quickly today, we can solve it. In 1992, the world population set at 5.5 billion. 1.5 billion born in just 19 years. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a 26% growth. And it's not just the population numbers that have changed markedly. The world of the here and now is light years away from the world of the late 20th century, geopolitic geopolitically, socially, and economically, and environmentally. The challenges postulated in Stockholm 20 years ago and glimpsed today are fast becoming a reality. China's double-digit growth in recent years has lifted millions out of poverty and triggered a renaissance in Chinese economy that has been both outstanding and astonishing. But the Chinese leadership and people know that it has come at a cost that may challenge social progress, social equity, and the right to development in the coming years unless we address it now. The Jiangxian River, for example, accounts for 70% of China's GDP, and yet the river is seriously polluted with heavy metals. This is not just an issue for China. Right now, across the world, too many of in indicators of sustainable development are heading towards or are already in the red zone, from fisheries to freshwater scarcity, from pollution that is still in the atmosphere, not only that, but to the land and to the seas as well. I'd like to take this time to applaud China's pledge to promote ec ec ecological development and to combat climate change. Seeing these dynamic pledges emerging from across the globe, from China to Brazil to Mexico, Germany, UAE, Rwanda, and New Zealand, I'm sure many of you are wondering why we would even, even need to discuss this resolution further. Why don't we just vote for it now? Ladies and gentlemen, the fact is simple. No matter how far and how fast some countries appear to be moving towards sustainability, it may prove to be too little, too late. UNEP's Comprehensive Green Economy Report, issued six months ago, sees the green economy as relevant to more developed economies, but also as a key catalyst for growth and poverty eradication in developing nations too. The world has passed, and is passing through a time, a moment in time, where we are at the proverbial crossroads, at Robert Frost's fork in the road, where we must make some tough and transformative decisions. We need a system reset for our planet, ladies and gentlemen. I am not a clairvoyant or a doomsday prophet. I cannot see the future. I hope only for the best. But this gathering here today will in the end prevail or fail based on your engagement and resolve at the highest level to seize the opportunity for a sustainable 21st century. If you take up this challenge that I, the UNEP, lay before you, the challenge of this green economy we will, be, we will be remembered in the annals of history by future generations as nations, delegates, organizations who took up the call, who took up the cry for sustainability and decided upon the means of implementation and seized the opportunity for a sustainable 21st century. As Robert Frost said, two roads diverged in Yellowwood, and I took the one less targeted, and that has made all the difference. Ladies and gentlemen, make your choice and make a difference. Thank you. Thank you, Delegate. Is the Delegate open to any points of information? This Delegate opens up to any and all. The Delegate has opened himself to any and all points of information. However, the Chair will only entertain three of such points due to time constraints. Are there any such points on the floor? Please raise your placards now. Delegate of Costa Rica, you've been recognized.
This delegate would like to ask in regards to Clause 21, do member states have to fund universal health care and education for their citizens because not all countries will be able to do so in this delegate's opinion? Okay, um, this delegate believes that this clause is essentially just... Okay, um, this clause, Clause 21, really refers to that we want an increase in social... We want social welfare elements to be improved in nations all around the world. Whilst UNEP is aware that free education, universal health care might not be possible currently in this day and age for many nations. We hope that with um, further aid and development based on the process and progress this resolution might have to offer, that it may become a possibility in the near future. Thank you. The delegate is open to two further points of information. Are there any such points on the floor? Please raise your placards now. Delegate of China, you've been recognized. Thank you, Honorable Chair. To the delegate of the UNEP, now Clause 21 states that calls upon members to pass legislation to incorporate these three subclauses. A country like China with such a big, strong, stable economy can afford to do so and has done so, achieving a literacy rate of 95%, which happens to be quite high. But if you look at the other side, you have countries like Liberia, one of the poorest in the world. You have countries like South Sudan, one of the poorest in the world. They have one nurse for 10,000 citizens. How do you expect of countries like Liberia, South Sudan, uh, you have uh, dozens of other um, Democratic Rep People's Republic of Congo. They are extremely low on financial resources and especially to spend on internal matters. How do the delegates suggest that we can implement clause number 21 in the aforementioned resolution into, uh, into effective action when they cannot even sustain their own population in terms of feeding them? when they're spending so much on imports of technology to improve their own economy while they're, such, while they're in such an uh, unstable situation. Can the delegate please rephrase his question in a more concise manner? Thanks. Could the delegate please uh, the rephrase delegate, his question? Uh, the delegate apologizes. The delegate questions how does the delegate of UNEP think to address or think to implement a clause number 21 in the resolution in countries like Liberia, Democratic People's Republic of Congo, um, South Sudan, where there's extreme lack of financial resources and the government cannot do much because their economy is paralyzed as of now? What does the delegate of UNEP think and how can this be implemented? Okay, um, obviously the delegate of China is not aware of what has been happening since 2009. Um, in 2009, um, the UNEP has been engaged in discussions with many United Nations organizations and other organizations around the world. Currently, the total number of organizations UNEP is working with to solve this crisis, which you're talking about, is at over 50 organizations. We've talked with ILO, um, some man local um, manpower ministries within many nations, and as such, in order to, we've agreed that in order to fulfill a green economy and achieve poverty eradication, etc., that aid from these 50 plus organizations and from within member nations of the United Nations would help each other to promote measures in which we can achieve sustainable development and poverty eradication and 
ladies and gentlemen, the right to development includes all of this as we are developing our nation, developing our people as a whole. So this is covered by discussions that span the last three years throughout the entire United Nations system. So this is our, our this is a possibility which will become a reality very soon. Thank you. The chair would like to remind delegates to keep the points of information and speeches um, concise so as to maintain the clarity of their um, point. Um, the delegate of UNEP is open to one further point of information. Are there any such points on the floor? Please raise your placards now. Due to the fact that there are no points of information with, oh, uh, the delegate of DPRK has been recognized. Does the delegate of the UNEP not agree that the social welfare elements outlined in Clause 21 are part of the UN Declaration on Human Rights and um, that even if not financially possible currently, that all nations should work towards fulfilling those goals in the future in order in accordance with the UN uh, Declaration on Human Rights? The UNAP is very glad that TPRK has mentioned this. Um, yes, the delegate is aware that it is part of the Human Declaration, the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, and it is also part of the United Nations Charter. So Building on this, ladies and gentlemen, if we do decide that we do remove this in the future, do remember, as a result, you might be going against what we stand for. Thank you. Thank you, Delegate. Um, with the Delegate of UNEP, please yield the floor to the Chair. Can the Delegate yield the floor to another, chair, to another Delegate? That is not in order due to the fact that the delegate has been yielded to. Uh, could the delegate please yield the floor back to the chair? So yielded. Um, uh, the House will now return to open debate on this resolution as a whole. Are there any delegates wishing to take the floor at this time? Please raise your placards now. privilege. Uh, could the chair repeat uh, the last sentence? Uh, the House will now return to open debate on this resolution. Are there any delegates wishing to take the floor at this time? Please raise your placards now. The delegate of Costa Rica has been recognized. The delegate has submitted an amendment. That is in order. The chair will now raise this out. Um, the amendment is to add to Clause 21 after socio-economic mobility um, with funding from relevant NGOs and UNOs. Um, would the delegate please... Uh, uh, the Chair sets close debate time on this amendment as three minutes for it, three minutes against. Could the submitter of this amendment please give a short speech for this amendment? Honorable Chair, fellow delegates, um, this delegate just wanted to add this small um, part to this cause because many delegates brought this up as an issue, including this delegate, that some countries cannot afford to have universal, to have health care for their citizens and education for all citizens as their economies are not quite as developed. And Costa Rica believes that these are important things. And without health care and education, we cannot progress and we cannot have sustainable development and eradicate poverty. So this delegate would just like to say that perhaps with the funding coming from NGOs and UNOs, this would be a more realistic clause. Thank you. Is the delegate open to any points of information? The delegate is open to any and all points of information. The delegate has opened herself to any and all points of information. However, the chair will only entertain two of such points due to time constraints. Are there any uh, points on the floor? Please raise your placards now. 
delegate of Switzerland you've been recognised. Um, could the delegate of Costa Rica please um, clarify how we are going to how um, delegate is wanting to um, ensure that the NGOs and UNOs are willing to um, provide funding for this um, implementation of this clause. Thank you for that ex excellent question. Because this delegate is, um, as I mentioned, it says relevant NGOs and UNOs, so these and uh, organizations would want to carry out this action because they believe in the same values of education and healthcare for all citizens. So that's one of the reasons this target feels that they'd be willing to fund this. The target is open to one further point of information. Are there any such points on the floor? Please raise your placards now. Due to the fact that there are no points of information, would the delegate please yield the floor back to the chair? So yielded. Um, we'll now continue the uh, uh, debate time for this amendment. Are there any delegates wishing to take the floor at this time? Please raise your placards now. The delegate of Swiss Confederation has been recognized. Honorable Chair, fellow delegates, as the main submitter of this resolution, this delegate welcomes the addition of this um, amendment to the resolution by the delegate of Costa Rica. As, it, as the delegate of Costa Rica said, it has um, made this clause more realistic and backs it up with um, funding from the relevant NGOs. As before, this uh, delegate has asked where the funding for countries which cannot afford these such um, things such as universal health care and free education and therefore this delegate would like to call on all delegates to vote for this amendment. Thank you. Thank you delegate. Is the delegate open to any points of information? Any and all? The delegate has opened himself to any and all points of information. However, the chair will only entertain one of such points due to time constraints. Are there any points on the floor at this time? Please raise your placards now. Due to the fact that there are no points of information, would the delegate please yield the floor back to the chair? So yielded. Time for this amendment has elapsed. We will now move into time against this amendment. Are there any delegates wishing to take the floor at this time? Please raise your placards now. Are there any delegates wishing to vote against Costa Rica's amendment, uh, wishing to uh, speak against Costa Rica's amendment to Clause 21? Delegate of India has been recognized. Delegate of India, would you wish to speak against Costa Rica's amendment to Clause 21? Due to the fact that there is no one willing to speak against this amendment, um, we will now move into voting procedure on this amendment. All those wishing to vote for this amendment, please do so by selecting the green tick in the voting response box. All those wishing to vote against, please select the red cross. Please note that abstentions are not in order for amendments.
We said vote is 16-4 uh, and one against. This amendment passes. Clapping is not in order. The House will now return to open debate on this resolution as a whole. Are there any delegates wishing to take the floor at this time? Please raise your placards now. The delegate of DPRK has been recognized. This delegate submitted an amendment. That is in order. The chair will now read out the amendment to add to clause uh, 23. Recommends it to, re to have it read, recommends that charities and NGOs working to alleviate poverty do so by intervening in the poverty cycle rather than simply providing aid. So as to increase the sustainability of poverty reduction through ways including but not limited to A, working to improve the quality and availability of free, sorry, free low cost or government subsidies. Education. B. Providing low interest microfinance loans to help poverty stricken families invest in business or other profitable ventures to ensure a sustainability high income for the future. Improving, uh, C. Improving the security and qual quality of housing in poverty stricken areas. Um, chair, says debate, uh, chair says close debate time on this amendment as three minutes for, three minutes against. Could the submitter of this amendment please give a short speech for this amendment? Honorable chairs and esteemed delegates, poverty eradic eradication in developing nations and developed nations alike often comes from NGOs. Therefore, given that this qu the question we are debating today encompasses poverty eradication, uh, this delegate has submitted this clause to deal with this problem, uh, to deal with the issue of means of distributing charity. Uh, as he is as he feels that it has been so far overlooked in the resolution. This delegate would like to point out that simply providing aid or money to poverty-stricken families usually proves unsustainable as opposed to intervening in the poverty cycle directly. This is because families that have never had access to a large amount of income do not know how to save up, how to save money and often waste their money at, one, at a given time instead of uh, saving it for the future. Uh, this has been proven by, the, by studies that have shown that people that choose to take the earnings from the lottery all at one time usually end up spending the money quicker than people that choose to get, get the spendings uh, on an annual basis. Um, so that, this delegate believes that encouraging uh, charities and NGOs to intervene in the poverty cycle as opposed to simply providing aid and funds to poverty-stricken families would be extremely beneficial and more sustainable in eradicating poverty, which he feels is an important uh, part of today's debate. Thank you. Thank you, Delegate. Is the Delegate open to any points of information? Any and all. The delegates have given themselves to any and all points of information. However, the chair will only entertain two of such points due to time constraints. Are there any uh, points on the floor at this time? Please raise your blackers now. Delegate of uh, China and Canada, you've been recognized in that order. Thank you, Honorable Chair. Now, this is regards to point number five, encouraging on behalf of MEDCs the mobilization of financial and technological resources for the creation of capacity building programs. The Delgate of China feels that it is an incomplete clause. Point of order, Chair. Oh, um, there's a delegate with Yeah. Um, is the House not in debate for? for the amendment to add Clause 23, rather than debating on Clause 5. That is correct. So point of China. parliamentary inquiry. Point of parliamentary procedure. Granted. Uh, that is not a point of order. A point of order is factual error. That is a error in the procedure. So that's a point of procedure, not a point of order.
Thank you. Uh, uh, the chair is not corrected. Uh, that given, um, would the delegate of China uh, like to give a speech for the amendment? Uh, the delegate of China does not wish to give a uh, speech right now. Thank you. Uh, the chair is not corrected. A point of information to the delegate of DPRK on uh, the um, amendment. Uh, would the delegate of Canada please give a point of information to the delegate of DPRK regarding his amendment to Clause 23? Concerning sub Clause C. Will the NGOs interfere by, by building the houses or in any other way? This would be up to the individual NGO. Uh, this delegate would like to encourage security being the uh, most the greatest priority uh, at the moment, but he feels that whichever way the NGO fields would be the most efficient way to uh, improve housing would be acceptable. The delegate of DPRK is open to one further point of information. Are there any such points at the floor? Please raise your pockets now. Delegate of Switzerland, you can recognize. The delegate of um, Switzerland would like to ask the delegate of DPRK on clarification for subclause B, where it says providing low microfinance loans to help property sweeping countries invest in businesses or other profitable ventures. Um, this delegate would like to ask um, the delegate of DPRK that um, does he not realize that investments um, in their very nature are not um, uh, guaranteed to bring a profit, therefore it cannot be said that it ensures a sustainably high income. This delegate stands corrected. He would like to substitute the word, he meant to substitute the word ensure for the word uh, to, uh, actually let me rephrase that. Yes, uh, this delegate, uh, uh, agrees and stands corrected. Uh, time for this amendment has elapsed. We will now move into time against this amendment. Are there any delegates wishing to take the floor at this time? Please raise your placards now. Are there any delegates wishing to speak against the amendment to Clause 23? Motion to move to previous question. There has been a motion to move to the previous question. Are there any seconds? Are there any objections? The fact that there is an objection, we will now move into voting procedure for this amendment. Um, all those wishing to vote for this amendment, please do so by selecting the green tick in the voting response box. All those wishing to vote against, please select the red cross. Uh, please note that abstentions are not in order for amendment. With 13 votes for and none against, this amendment passes. Clapping is not in order. The House will now return to open debate on this resolution as a whole. Are there any delegates wishing to take the floor at this time? Please raise your placards now.
delegate of Canada you have been recommended? Honourable Chair, fellow delegates, the delegate of Canada believes that many changes are needed in our world today, seeing the increasing dangers of pollution. But this, this resolution encompasses most of the fields, if not all, that need to be tackled to reach a green economy. It concerns both developed and developing countries. Also, using renewable resources of energy like solar power and wind, available to many, co many countries, will eradicate poverty. The resolution also provides realistic solutions for many problems, thus ensuring sustainable development. Thank you. Is the delegate open to any point of information? Yes, the delegate is open to one point of information. That is in order. Are there any such points on the floor? Due to the fact that there are no points of information on the floor at this time, would the delegate of Canada please yield the floor back to the chair? The delegate yields the floor back to the chair. The House will now return to the debate on this resolution as a whole. Are there any delegates wishing to take the floor at this time? Please raise your placards now. The delegate of France has been recognized. Esteemed Chair and fellow delegates, we have gathered here to tackle and create a viable solution to create a green economy. France would like to congratulate the Swiss Confederation and other co-submitters of this resolution for making it so clear, concise, and astute. This resolution provides strong, positive ideas and actions to alleviate and take on the main roadblocks that are currently preventing us from ensuring a sustainable future. These include forming doable clauses to lessen and eventually eradicate modern society's issues such as poverty, health care, housing, and energy, to name a few. This delegate believes that this high-quality resolution addresses everything from A to Z in forming pra uh, practical measures to have a sustainable development in the coming years. Fans would, li would like to strongly urge the House to vote for this resolution. Thank you. Is the delegate open to any points of information? Yes, two. The delegate has opened himself to two points of information. Are there any such points on the floor? Please raise your placards now. The delegate of China has been recognized. I, I'm the delegate of Costa Rica in that order. Thank you, Honorable Chair. To, this is to the delegate of France. Now, does the delegate of France believe that a resolution being one-sided fits the, fits the bill concise, clear, and addresses everything from A to Z? Because the delegate of China thinks there are still major major aspects of poverty eradication in unstable economies which are part, a whole part of the United Nations not addressed to and methods such as transferring funds and technologies from one country to another also have not been addressed to and hence Delgate China urges France to rethink his uh, view whether this is complete because China believes that there are many, many more things to address to to make it a complete resolution. Thank you. The delegate of France would like to thank the delegate of China for presenting his view. Uh, the, this delegate has greatly thought his position on this resolution. Uh, also keeping in mind that uh, this resolution addresses one of the key problems and uh, that problem is also part of the United Nations Millennium Development Goals of 2015. Uh, uh, which we aim to finish by 2015 uh, and this resolution um, as, as seen by the delegate provides uh, strong uh, strong points in, in eradicating uh, this problem. Also would, uh, would the delegate of China point out uh, any clauses which he feels may, be, uh, may not uh, be constructive? So the delegate there will be no direct dialogue, will be no direct dialogue between delegates. Uh, would the delegate of China wish to request a follow-up? Please note that this yes, may delegate. please note that this uh, must be for uh, must be presented in the form of a question. Delegate of China. 
Okay, uh, thank you, Honorable Chair. So uh, this is David of France. So does France think uh, this is an example? There are many more uh, points in this resolution to be amended. But since France is asking for an example, China would like to ask David of France whether he, if he thinks clause number five, which is encourages on behalf of MEDCs the mobilization of financial and technological resources, a complete point, because China thinks it is incomplete. The methods of transferring, mobilizing financial and technological resources has not been mentioned, which makes it an incomplete statement and hence an incomplete resolution because this does not specify and the purpose of a resolution is to specify the actions to be taken and how it is to be taken and what, which through medium it should be taken. This is only one example, but China would like to ask, does France think e even only clause 5 is complete or not? Thank you, Delegate of China, uh, for uh, replying with an example. Well, uh, uh, what, from what the, dele the Delegate of France has heard, uh, is the Delegate of China implying that, uh, that just because one clause may be uh, too small and not well explained, that the entire resolution must be cancelled out? And also, maybe uh, if, if the Delegate of China feels it is too incomplete, maybe he should submit uh, an amid amendment to further clarify uh, what the clause should do. Delegate of Costa Rica. Thank you. This Doug would like to ask about clause 18. What exactly does the Green City Initiative entail for urbanized areas? Like, what do the governments have to do exactly? Well, um, thank you for that question, uh, Delegate of Costa Rica. Green cities uh, will probably uh, be the future of our current cities today. Uh, they are a sort of hybrid between, uh, between uh, large woods and forests and modern urban areas. So what green cities do is uh, is take uh, is is our healthy cities. I mean, uh, they produce less CO2 and less uh, and produce less pollution. Uh, so this this clause clause 18 calls for uh, nations to implement the green city initiative. Uh, if, uh, does that clarify the latest point? Follow up. There, um, granted. Thank you, but this target wants to know exactly what this means. Does this mean the governments need to um, switch from coal to alternative energy sources, or what exactly does this mean? Like, are there any guidelines that governments must be following? No, uh, this uh, this resolution does not uh, give any guidelines on what exactly a green city should be, and does not define it properly. Uh, but a green city, as as from what the delegate of France knows is a city with, uh, with less CO2 emissions and less pollution uh, compared to the, the cities of today. Uh, and it is being carried out in, uh, in many places uh, such as Brazil, uh, uh, Brazil, UAE, uh, and, maybe, and even Hong Kong. And hopefully uh, in the coming uh, decades, they plan, to, uh, they plan to have green cities implemented worldwide. Thank you, Delegate. Uh, would the Delegate of France please yield the floor back to the Chair? Yes, the Delegate of France yields the floor back to the Chair. The House will now return to debate on this resolution as a whole. Are there any delegates wishing to take the floor at this time? Please raise your placards now. The Delegate of UNEP has been recognized. Thank you, Honorable Chair. Okay. This delegate would like to first clarify Costa Rica's point of information to Doug up front. The Green City Initiatives are initiatives run by local and national governments within their own nations to improve and greenify their own cities. I can give you examples of the cities which have proven to be superbly green over the last few years, such as the city of Curitiba in Brazil, Singapore, in Singapore, um, and Tel Aviv, I believe, in Israel. 
As a result, these cities have proven to be the benchmark for green city initiatives, such as in Curitiba, where they implemented recycling programs where you can exchange your recycled goods for coupons to take the public transport system, um, where you have the option to grow a garden in your backyard in order to grow, um, grow your own crops rather than buying crops which have been grown outside of purity which might not have been grown to certain agricultural standards, for example. That uh, is what the Green City Initiative is about, making sure that people within cities and within the nations themselves understand that they can live green within a metropolis. Um, this delegate does not to any no point of information. Um, seeing that the delegate has opened himself to any and all points of information, the delegate has opened himself to any and all points of information. However, the chair will only entertain two of such points due to time constraints. Are there any such points on the floor? Please raise your placards now. The delegate of Cyprus has been recognized. Delegate of Cyprus appears to be having technical difficulties. Uh, are there any other points of information on the floor for the delegate of UNEP? Seeing that there are no points of information at this time, would the delegate of UNEP please yield the floor back to the chair? So yielded. The House will now return to debate on this resolution as a whole. The Chair would like to encourage delegates who have not yet spoken to give a speech for the resolution or against the resolution uh, during open debate time. Are there any delegates wishing to speak at this time? Please raise your placards now. The delegate of Monaco has been recognized. This delegate has sent an amendment. The chair has not yet received this amendment. Uh, would, the, would the delegate wish to um, give a speech on the resolution as a whole, or yield the floor back to the chair? The delegate would uh, wish to give a speech. In order to continue. Would the delegate of Monaco like to continue with his speech on the resolution? Uh, yes. Till now, no clear estimation has been made on the amount of funding for the transformation to green economy, and the estimations vary from one another. The clause calls upon for the UNEP and IMF to properly research an estimation for the funds needed to and the results to be sus submitted to the General Assembly. Is the delegate open to any points of information? No. Uh, would the delegate you see wish to yield the back to the chair? The House will now return to open debate on this resolution as a whole. Are there any delegates wishing to take the floor at this time? Please raise your placards now. The delegate of Denmark has been recognized. This, this resolution does a lot <coughs> to give a good incentive for countries to green up their economies in a way. 
Uh, while it's not perfect, it it is better than nothing. Though I I believe, or this delegate believes that there will be countries, namely the U.S., Canada, that may not sign on, just as they have not signed on to Kyoto. Uh, that may be a problem in the future, as far as this resolution uh, doing anything to solve the problem, as those are two big countries that need to sign on. But as a whole, it does a lot to <coughs> it does a lot as a guideline for greening up the economy. Thank you. Is the delegate open to any points of information? Any and all. The delegate has opened himself to any and all points of information. However, the chair will only entertain two of such points due to time constraints. Are there any points on the floor at this time? Please raise your blockers now. Delegate of Costa Rica and France have been recognized in that order. Uh, thank you for your speech. Which clauses in particular would the delegate like to amend? In particular, the delegate has not found enough that he would like to amend at this point. Uh, I mean, yeah, pretty much that. It's like a like like previously stated. It's not perfect, but I don't. I don't believe that it's too amendable that I really need to submit that much. Uh, sorry, sorry for uh, for the confusion. But thanks. What uh, does the delegate of uh, Denmark not believe that? Uh, uh, we can make these con uh, countries, such as Canada and USA, sign on uh, sign on protocols, uh, such as the one discussed in this resolution, by uh, by maybe uh, taking uh, taking this resolution t uh, to their table and seeing what modifications they would want and how they w uh, what would make them sign it. That may very well be, but in the case of those countries, their governments are so lobbied and some might even say bought by the fossil fuel and the oil industries so that that might not really be feasible at this particular point in time. Uh, does the delegate wish to yield the floor back to the chair? The delegate yields the floor back to the chair. Uh, the House will now return to open debate on this resolution as a whole. Are there any delegates wishing to take the floor at this time? Please raise your placards now. The Republic of Korea has been recognized. Thank you, Honorable Chair. Firstly, the Republic of Korea would like to uh, apologize for their tightness to committee. However, uh, it can see that by the progress of the resolutions thus far, that uh, very productive discussions and and development of amendments has occurred. Uh, the Republic of Korea would like to support the overall message of the resolution and echoes the sentiments of the Honorable Delegate from Denmark. It believes that it does have initiatives that encourage um, green growth and it does set guidelines that even though some countries do not ad adhere to things like the Kyoto Protocol, that that they have guidelines that they may follow. The Republic of Korea uh, is looking forward to, to taking part in the discussions in limited period left. Thank you. Is the delegate open to any points of information? Uh, yes. The delegate has opened himself to points of information. The chair will entertain two of such points due to time constraints. Are there any delegates wishing to take the floor at this time? Please raise your placards now. <laughs> uh, 
are there any delegates wishing to give a point of information to the delegate of the Republic of Korea? Seeing as there are no points at this time, would the delegate please yield the floor back to the chair? The Republic of Korea yields the floor back to the chair. I would again like to encourage delegates who have not yet spoken to speak. Uh, the House will now return to open debate on this resolution as a whole. Are there any delegates wishing to take the floor at this time? Please raise your packets now. The delegate of Oman has been recognized. Um, this uh, resolution, I mean, uh, you know, this resolution, like you know, presented to us from uh, this country today, um, uh, UNEP and the uh, Swiss Confederation and uh, which call it uh, Peru might seem fe uh, a, a feasible in some aspects, but say for example, the area of funding from some sectors for like you know, uh, uh, gapping the bridge between poverty and uh, the the rich in the country, this uh, resolution is not feasible in, in that it will cause the country too much uh, gap, uh, widening the gap of poverty. Is the delegate open to any points of information? Yes and all. The delegate has opened themselves to any and all points of information. However, the chair will only entertain two of such points due to time constraints. Are there any such points on the floor? Please raise your placards now. The delegates of UNEP and Switzerland have been recognized in that order. Is the delegate not aware that other UNOs which have been working with UNEP have submitted reports to the GA, UNS, UN, EC regarding funding for the Green Economy Project? The delegate is aware, but uh, wait. The point of point, right to reply. The delegate uh, always has the right to reply for point of information given to his speech. Um, the delegate believes that what you call it, uh, this resolution is not perfect in the part that uh, supplying money to those countries, which uh, I mean, from NGOs and uh, UNOs. Like you know, supply money to these kind of organizations, uh, which will better the environment and those kind of sectors in uh, bettering the environment by itself. Like you know, to reduce uh, coal use and say petroleum will widen the gap in poverty because of their investment in this kind of thing. Also, like you know, also taking away from their money, which is uh, comes from uh, the interest rates. Although they're minimal, but they're still not going to be paid back in time. Say, look at what a saving um, amendment number twenty-three. No, amendment number twenty-three, clause twenty-three. Delegate of Switzerland. From what the delegate of Oman has said in his speech, um, is he implying that countries should not invest a substantial amount of money into developing its people and reducing its gap? To reply, and yes, uh, that's exactly what the delegate of Oman is stating that this money should be used in order to uh, fill up the gap in, of poverty instead of uh, in helping out the environmental aid, especially for LEDC countries who cannot afford uh, fill, uh, fixing up their environmental stages, although they got huge pollution in their environment and stuff, should uh, consider taking care of uh, their poverty rates. Uh, does the delegate wish to yield the floor back to the chair or to another delegate? Uh, does the delegate wish to yield the floor back to the chair? It allows the chair to take back its position of to, uh, taking this spot. Thank you, delegate. 
Uh, perhaps we'll now return to open debate on this resolution as a whole. Are there any delegates wishing to take the floor at this time? Please raise your placards now. Uh, the delegate of uh, Cyprus has been recognized. I believe that this resolution cannot be implemented by many countries who have problems with poverty and lack of resources. Thank you. Is the delegate open to any points of information? Yes, two. The delegate has opened himself to two points of information. Are there any points on um, the floor at this time? Please raise your packets now. Uh, the delegate of the Republic of Korea and France have been recognized. Honorable delegate for Cyprus, the Republic of Korea would like to ask how you therefore propose that the resolution be changed and amended in order to better enable those countries to follow what is said in the resolution. Uh, Honorable Delegate of uh, the Republic of Korea, uh, many are uh, like setting up uh, a green city cannot be done, cannot be uh, implemented by many countries due to uh, financial problems and not uh, having the resources required. So, I uh, so the, this delegate believes that the resolution can be implemented by uh, setting clauses which do not actually, uh, which do not cause any fine, which, are, which can be implemented by countries which do not uh, have any financial problems. Thank you. Uh, does the delegate of Cyprus uh, is the delegate of Cyprus not aware uh, that this resolution does give uh, does give solutions for eradicating poverty uh, in clause 23 and in clause 14, uh, which uh, which both uh, provide solutions such as providing aid from via NGOs uh, and uh, microloans etc. Uh, to eradicate poverty, why would this not be uh, implemented uh, implemented in countries? Uh, Honorable Delegate of France, this uh, uh, for example, Cyprus has a problem of of uh, it has a water problem, and uh, there are no clauses in the resolution which help to uh, which help to uh, improve this condition. And this uh, and this water problem leads to many poverty uh, poverty situations. So uh, this resolution does not have any clauses which help improve the situation of water. Thank you. Question to extend TOI. Would the, uh, would the delegate of Cyprus accept further points of information? Yes, I accept the POI. The, uh, the chair will entertain two additional points of information. Are there any such points on the floor? Please raise your pockets now. Delegate of UNEP has been recognized. Is the delegate aware that if any nation in the world simply increases their, moves their GDP from any sector to, to sustainable development and green economy growth, that the effects can improve the nation profoundly, such as increased employment rates, increased financial growth exponentially? And if the delegate is, is questioning where, uh, where the delegate gets this from, it's from the desk of the Secretary General. Is the delegate aware of this? Thank you.
No, uh, the delegate is not aware of this. Thank you. The delegate is open to one further point of information. Are there any such points on the floor? Uh, would the delegate of UNEP like to request a follow up? Um, a different POI. It is more to continue. Is the, the delegate of um, the delegate? Um, stated that this resolution doesn't address water, but has the delegate actually read Clause 10 of Clause B, Efficient Use of Water, um, and Clause 12, which talks about measures to increase the availability of potable water? Thank you. Does the delegate of Cyprus wish to respond to this information? Yes, uh, I, I ha this delegate has read the clause, but uh, but fails to understand how this clause would uh, actually help this problem. When uh, there is a problem, there is a water, uh, there is a problem of water supply. Uh, it, it's been uh, a consistent problem in Cyprus. And uh, and Cyprus is not able to actually efficiently use water. So uh, this delegate believes that this clause has not been elaborated properly. Thank you. Great to follow up. Granted. Thank you, delegate of Cyprus. Um, is the delegate aware that the right development is part of a human rights granted by the United Nations and as such the right to water as Cyprus says that they don't really have right now can be brought up to the United Nations Council and forwarded to the United Nations Environmental Program where the UN EPSF is a department especially to improve water availability around the world. This project has been around since for the last 20 years since Stockholm. Is the delegate aware of this? Thank you. No, this delegate is not aware of this. Thank you. Does the delegate wish to yield the floor back to the chair? Yes, the delegate wishes to yield the floor back to the chair. Thank you. The House will now return to open debate time on this resolution with six minutes remaining. Um, are there any delegates wishing to take the floor at this time? Please raise your placards now. The delegate of Costa Rica has been recognized. Thank you. Honorable Chair, fellow delegates, Costa Rica is overall in support of this resolution. However, it feels that it hopefully with the six months they have left could be amended a little bit more. Costa Rica is the greenest and happiest country in the world, and we care very deeply about the environment, and we're working towards becoming the world's first carbon neutral country by 2021. Currently, most of our energy comes from clean energy sources, and we're extremely biodiverse, so we place a lot of emphasis on protecting our species. There are two causes that Costa Rica would like some clarification on. Cause five, we'd like to know what capacity of building programs exactly, and would it be better to also include the mobilization of experts and fields such as sustainable development and alternative energy sources. And with clause six, the delegate would just like further details on the opportunities governments are required to provide, either financial, political, etc., or educational. The delegate would also like to point out that ecotourism has not been suggested as a solution, but it would not only promote sustainable development, it would also help eradicate poverty as it employs locals. It's been used in Costa Rica and is very effective. Thank you. Is the delegate open to any collective information? In all. The delegate has opened herself to any non collective information. However, the chair will only entertain one point due to time constraints. Are there any points on the floor at this time? Please raise your placards now. The delegate of France has been recognized. 
the delegate of Costa Rica mentioned um, uh, mentioned ecotourism in her speech. Uh, uh, seeing as ecotourism uh, often brings uh, lots of uh, lots of travelers and oftentimes uh, he heavy machinery and uh, and and factories and things uh, as, as as companies look to exploit uh, exploit the nature. Uh, the, and the eco-friendly uh, and the uh, and the easy laws, easy trade laws uh, of a country to establish water. establish factories uh, in the country. Would that not uh, be unconstructive and uh, and be harmful to the local economy? Thank you for your point. Ecotourism is a major for Costa Rica, and it attracts many visitors, and because Costa Rica has regulations on things like um, the machine used and things along those lines, we ensure that the environment is still protected and that we're not damaging it, but instead it actually provides an incentive for the government, not for the government, sorry, it provides an incentive for countries to preserve their forests and their species because they're benefiting it from it economically. Uh, the chair would like to remind delegates to uh, uncheck the talk button once they finish speaking. Uh, would the delegate, uh, does the delegate wish to yield the floor back to the chair? In the order for the delegate to yield the floor to the delegate of China. That is an order. Uh, do, would the delegate of China accept the floor? Thank you, Honorable Chair. With regards to what Delegate of France said, there are no chances of industries and the, and the heavy metal industries being introduced in forests because the point of ecotourism is for the government to prevent any sort of commercial establishment other than, uh, to, to set up within the buffer zone uh, which has been uh, specified for the government and hence it is a very safe option because it itself being uh, promoted by the United Nations. And second of all, Delegate of China would like to comment what the Delegate of, uh, Delegate of Costa Rica has said that there are uh, clauses relating to ecotourism uh, and other important factors like debt relief missing. Delegate of China also like to say that debt relief is a very important factor in this uh, and hence um, would like to suggest an amendment uh, regarding uh, providing debt relief to the LEDCs, uh, which goes as encourages MEDCs and economically delegate, stable countries delegate, to provide debt relief. De delegate, um, the delegate must request for an amendment to be entertained, and an amendment will not be entertained at this time due to time constraints. Uh, would the delegate wish okay, to? Okay, thank you. Would wish to continue with his speech on the resolution as a whole, or you the floor back to the chair? Uh, the delegate only like to commend what Delegate Costa Rica and said and urges the House to look into ecotourism because it is a way to protect the environment and provide sustainable development. Thank you. Due to con time constraints, the Chair will not entertain any points of information. Would the delegate please yield the floor back to the Chair? It wishes the time back to the Chair. Thank you. Uh, the House will now have time for one brief, uh, last brief speech on this resolution as a whole. Are there any delegates wishing to take the floor at this time? Uh, delegate of Germany, you have been recognized. Honorable Chair, fellow delegates, the environment has been significantly damaged over the last 20 years, and that has caused a lot of nations to turn attention to how to help the environment to go back to its original green era. Now, here we are looking at this resolution, thinking about how it might help the matter in hand. Well, the delegate of Germany would like to turn attention to parts 6, 8, and 9 of this resolution, which are crucial to resolve the problem in hand. Saying that, the delegate of Germany would like to urge all delegates to vote for this resolution as a package one, if not many of the main points of this problem. Thank you. Due to time constraints, the chair will uh, not entertain any points of information. Uh, does the delegate of Germany wish to yield the floor back to the chair? Yes, the delegate yields the floor back to the chair. 
open debate time on this resolution has elapsed. We will now move into voting procedures on this resolution as a whole. All those wishing to vote for this resolution, please do so by selecting A in the voting response box. All those wishing to vote against, please select B. And all those wishing to abstain, please select C. What is C for? Option number C. C is to abstain. With 13 votes for and 5 abstentions, this resolution passes. Clapping is in order.